Hi there. Uh, let's go make some tea. That's good. So, welcome everyone. My name is Bon Adriel, and I'm a creative. If you're new to this channel, welcome and thank you for checking it out. Um, I do a lot of things from paintings, from watercolor, acrylics, and things like that. And most recently, I started vlogging, and so I'm gonna be doing some videographies and photography as well in this channel. And random things like this one, for example, which I guess I'm gonna call Tea Time with Bon. This is one of my favorite mugs. I got this in Paris and it just says happy birthday, but it's Bon and it's my name. <laughs> so I just took it. Anyways, um, I kind of want to do this kind of like tea time with us, kind of just talk about the things that I've been thinking about and maybe you guys can relate. I was thinking I would try to make it relate into the things that I'm gonna be doing video wise. Um, like say for example, right now I want to talk about this thing that has been chewing in my head kind of like at the beginning of 2017 or it's always been there I just never really paid any attention to it until now when I start to confront it confront your issues people anyways what is this about well have you ever been in that situation where you're like doing something and then you, you start thinking to yourself am I actually qualified to do this thing and there's always this idea that you're pretending to be something or somebody that you're not. Just a quick background, I'm currently doing a PhD in computer science, specifically in information visualization. So I do research and things like that. Yeah, so recently I started going back into art and, you know, I was fortunate enough to be in two art shows. One of them is showing my PhD work in visualization and the other one was more just show showcasing my painting. And one of the things that I was starting to think about is like whether I can call myself an artist. So I didn't go to art school, I went to computer science in my undergrad. And part of me just thinks that if I start calling myself an artist right now, like would that be offensive to people who actually went to art school or to who actually have trained in, you know, in the visual arts, you know, for like four years or so in college and things like that. Uh, most of my training has come from like in high school or like courses that I took here and there but most of the time I was kind of doing things on my own like I would look up things online, I would read books and just part of me is thinking that maybe I shouldn't call myself an artist. Um, this is actually a thing in psychology which is called imposter syndrome where when you're doing something and you start second guessing yourself and you're thinking you're not good enough to be doing the things that you should be doing and people think so highly of you and you start thinking, oh, they shouldn't be thinking of me that way um, because I'm a nobody and I'm not really an artist or whatever it is that you're having a imposter syndrome with. And that's not good because, you know, everybody starts from somewhere. A lot of people are just like you. They have, you know, they have insecurities, 
Um, and sometimes that affects their work, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it actually helps them to strive to become better at their work. Anyways, I've always been kind of like second guessing myself and there come a point in time when I was like, I should stop second guessing myself and I should actually just go and call myself an artist and just do my art practice and research to the best of my ability. And when did I start thinking about this? Well, it started back in summer this year when my friend invited me to kind of help him take photos and take videos of this of this EDM festival here in Calgary called Chasing Summer. My friend works for a German uh, kind of like online publication about um, electronic music and DJs and things like that. And he's here in Calgary for the past few months and Chasing Summer was happening and he was like, Hey Bon, do you want to um, come with me and we can cover a story about that? festival but it's gonna be for German for the German audiences but he needs somebody to help him take uh, videos and, and photos and things like that and since I have the equipment uh, or I have some equipment I just said um, sure yeah like first of all I get in for free I get a media pass and I just have to take photos and I get to enjoy the music which is awesome Zed and Tiesto were there so that was amazing because I love Zed Anyways, we went there, did the thing, and while I was actually taking photos and was taking videos and I was in the, you know, I was in the zone and I was just doing photographer things, that's when I started realizing that you don't have to have been labeled by somebody else to be who you want to be. Yeah, so I didn't go to, I didn't go to an art school, I didn't go to film school and things like that, I didn't go, I didn't do photography, I was just learning on my own and you know, I think you have, you have tried to develop your skills for a while now and you probably have the qualifications or at least the starting qualifications for what you're doing and what you just need to focus on is improving and doing the thing that you love because you know, to become a good artist, to become a good photographer, videographer, whatever you want to be, researcher, um, you just have to keep on doing the things and improving on them. Because once you start improving and once you develop your own unique style, then people will recognize that and people will accept that you are who you're calling yourself to be. And I believe that acceptance has to start from within. Because if you yourself don't accept yourself as an artist, then how are you going to be an artist? How would other people call you an artist? So yeah. That's just my thoughts. Anyways, I don't really know what I want to do with this vlogs and stuff like that. And so what I want, I guess what I'm starting to do now is that kind of introduce myself to you, connect, things like that. I guess I'm going to be using some of the footage that I took during Chasing Summer um, here in my vlog because not all of them has been put up online by the site that I was working for and so I was, I'm now free to use them however I want to use them so I'm just going to maybe put some of them here and there and just kind of like spice up this vlog a little bit.
you all for checking out my channel. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers!